Hi Jax fans, it's Andy the Madam Jack. Uh, sort of middle of the Christmas holidays vlog. Um, I think there can only really be one starting point before we even uh, contemplate discussing the football. The, the terrible, terrible side loss of, uh, of Colin Weir. Uh, I don't think there's a single fan amongst us doesn't share the, the sadness, uh, you know, the the feelings for his family, his son and his daughter. Uh, obviously, I know he he sort of split from his wife, but obviously she'll be feeling uh, pretty sad uh, at this moment. So, and all his close friends and members of the football club that knew him well, um, are absolutely shocked by what's happened. Uh, he's done so much for our football club, and you know there'll certainly be memories of him in terms of having been a benefactor, and that's obviously gone on after, uh, you know, his sad loss the other day, that's still continuing, which is wonderful news for the club. Uh, but at the end of the day, he was a jag, he was a fan, and, you know, uh, our club has not just lost Colin this year, our club's lost any number of fans as we do most years. So I think initially our thoughts are with the, with the family and the friends, not just of Colin, but of any family that's lost a jag this year. Uh, Christmas is never a nice time, you know, the Christmas holidays, New Year. Um, to lose somebody and if it's the first Christmas that somebody's not around that in itself is, is very upsetting for people so you know obviously huge thank you for Colin everything he's done for the football club uh, his name will live on you know in, in perpetuity as far as I'm concerned hopefully the club will put up some sort of a memorial uh, some sort of plaque or a statue or whatever somewhere we can pay our respects uh, but yeah terrible terrible loss for the football club but an even bigger loss for his family. Uh, you know, let's not lose sight of the fact that it's family and close friends who, who do suffer the most. And you know, very much my thoughts uh, are with those people today. And I hope as time goes by, they you know they realise just what a what. You know, everybody says he was just a really decent guy, and that's got to come first before any football allegiances or anything else. So thank you so much, Colin, for everything you've done. May you rest in peace, and and may your family find some solace in there. Uh, and the outpouring from Jack's fans from all around the country and indeed the world. Uh, in terms of football, obviously it would have been nice to start on, on the high point of yesterday's results. Uh, what I'll do first is a quick few words about the Dundee game. Uh, a little bit of a sort of mid-season review, how things have been going. And obviously, you know, finish with comments about yesterday's match itself. The Dundee game, uh, as you know, I don't always agree with Ian. Uh, when he made his comment about, you know, perhaps we didn't deserve to win that game, uh, we certainly didn't deserve to lose it. Uh, sorry, Ian, as I've said on, on, you know, in response to some other people's vlogs, you get what you deserve on over the 90 minutes. At the end of the day, they scored a goal, we didn't, and, and we got nothing from uh, what should have been an eminently winnable home game. So that was a huge disappointment. You know. I, I get Jags on, so I get to watch all of the match or substantial parts of the games. They just looked a bit hungrier. I just felt, again, that there was a number of 50-50 balls where I felt, you know, they just really wanted a bit more than we did. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm sorry to be critical of Jamie, because he does seem to be coming back into form, but you should never let, let McGowan get across you like that. that. That ball should have gone in the net. So that was pretty disappointing. Uh, before I was sort of heard the sad news about Colin, I was doing a sort of bit of review, looking at how the season had gone so far, because we've obviously reached the halfway mark on 18 games. Now, you know, uh, Ian took over after the first six games, which were very disappointing, when he picked up two points out of 18, and, and you know, Gary Cole will pay the price for that, justifiably as far as I'm concerned, and I think most fans would agree, it just wasn't a good enough start, it was very disappointing. Now, if you take the 12 games after that, uh, you know, uh, six wins, uh, a draw, uh, sorry, I think it's five wins, one draw, six defeats. It, it, it's almost 50-50, you know, uh, we lose as many as we win. But the thing that shocked me, I, I hadn't realised that we actually hadn't had a single clean sheet in a league game. Now, I appreciate there's been a few games in the cup where, yes, we have kept clean sheets, but against the Pennycooks of this world, and again, I'm not meaning that disrespectfully, we should be keeping clean sheets. But we haven't had a single game in 18 where we've kept a clean sheet. So if anybody wants to know where the problems are at the football club, please don't waste your time looking any further. It's nothing to do with midfield creativity. 
It's nothing to do with the number of goals we score. We do score enough goals. If we could find a way to tighten up the back and have a few clean sheets, we would storm up this league. Uh, and I hope perhaps yesterday might have been the first opportunity to do that, but it didn't work out that way. Uh, number of goals, I've said a few times in blogs, we need to score at least two goals to, to win a game. Now the reality isn't as simple as that. When I actually did the stats, we're, we're averaging, uh, conceding 1.9 goals per game. It's two goals. So, so really, two goals in a game for, you know, working on the averages, and I know averages, you know, disguise stories, individual stories, but you've got to score two goals just to get a point. It's absolutely and utterly nowhere near good enough. Right, now I appreciate Sean McGinn, he's been dropped to the bench for now. Tamaware seems to be in a good run of form. But as yesterday showed, we're still conceding goals. I went through the results so far this season, took a goal off the opposition in every game, right, as if we just you know, conceded one less goal per game, and the difference is 12 points. It's 12 points difference. We were actually in second place, without a doubt. Uh, there's very few games that, you know, that goal difference wouldn't have made a huge difference in terms of our points tallying results this season. We have to sort it out the back. Whatever budget we've got, I wouldn't even bother looking at midfield or forward players. I think we've got enough in those areas to see us through this season. We have to strengthen at the back and we have to strengthen big time. Because if we don't, I don't actually see the second half of the season being much better than the first. Ian Stephanie made a huge improvement, but he's only averaging a point in a well, 1.33 points per game. Obviously, it's gone up a little bit since yesterday. Uh, we've got a long way to go. Uh, second half of last season, after Gary brought his own people in, you know, he made some fantastic signings last January. Our points were up sort of one and a half, two points per game average. It changed completely. And I'm just praying that Ian can do the same thing. And if yesterday is a new starting point for uh, another good run, well, you know, let's just hope it goes that way, especially after everything the club is currently going through. Uh, in terms of yesterday's game, I've just managed to watch some of the footage, some of the highlights. Uh, you know, not well beating goals to be honest, but I'm, I'll keep saying it until you're bored of hearing it. Uh, at the end of the day in a football match, if you've scored one more goal than the opposition, you walk away with three points. Do that often enough, you get promoted. Do that often enough in the Scottish Premier League, you'll stay up at least. You know, that's the minimum you would get. We just have to score more on the opposition, but I'm desperately keen to see us get a few clean sheets sooner rather than later. But it was a good performance. Uh, as, as Ian rightly said at the end, there were good performances right across the pitch. Stuart Bannigan had a good game, Tamaware. Uh, seems to be taking the role of captain in the right way and, and we're benefiting accordingly. But again, without that clean sheet, I, I'm gonna keep saying it until I'm sick of hearing it. Uh, we have to sort this out, we have to do it urgently. So a good performance, it's not a difficult, sorry, it's not an easy place to get three points below because you know they're a team that's rubbish away but pretty strong at home uh, and we that's something that still concerns us is our home form you know we seem to go through a phase we go away we get a good result away from home and then we shoot ourselves in foot in the next home game that has to stop you know most of our fans attend the home games around the way games give us a bit more to cheer about at home that's what we need and uh, you know the, the fixtures start again uh, you know back to Alloa uh, it's a tough game, that was a great result, I had it done for yesterday, 3-1, uh, just goes to show you know that they're not the fantastic team that stuffed us 5-1 about a month back, they're a pretty average team and I'll always show that. Dundee United looms on the horizon, um, we've given them two good games this season, got nothing from it, and, and that's why they're top by a straight mile and you know, we're still the third worst team currently in, in, in the division uh, and we have to improve on that dramatically. Uh, Dundee defeat left me wondering whether the playoffs would be, it was just become really um, unrealistic. But of course then we do what we usually do, we go away from home, win the next game and uh, it looks as if all bets are off, so it's a strange one. I'm really not too sure, but I'd love to see some major strengthening at the back, in the window, real get up and at them central defender style players who just put their bodies on the line and win everything. But a clean sheet, we really, really do need that clean sheet. Now, I'm going to finish off there. As I say, I'm, I'm going to go and check and see how the uh, how the scum side of Glasgow is getting on in the in the local derby, <laughs> small derby, and uh, and then a few bits and bobs to do. But please leave your comments as always. And again, just to finish on that note, uh, Colin Wyatt, 
you'll always be a legend in our club and thank you so much for everything you've done and once again commiserations to to your family okay all the best old jags uh, especially with new year coming up